everybody lift up your voice We thank the Lord for this Tuesday's morning. We shall be glad and rejoice in it. We are, our morning devotion is from Isaiah 58, verse 12. And I read, Your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the, old, the age old foundation. You will be called repairer of broken walls. Restorer of streets with dwellings. I'm proceeding to 13. If you keep your feet from breaking the Sabbath and from doing as you please on the, my holy day, if you call the Sabbath a delight and the Lord holy day honorable, and if you honor it by not going your own way and not doing as you please or speaking idle words. Thank you, Jesus, for your message this morning that you want us, Jehovah Father, to restore and rebuild the broken lives that we had had in the past. We, come, we humbly come to you this morning that, Lord, you bless us so that we face this day with a lot of blessings. As we share your word this morning, Jehovah Father, we commit ourselves unto you. Bless each and every person, wherever he or she is, that as they start the day, they may believe and walk and live and love you this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Today, I want to talk about the promises that our Lord, our Savior, has given us. There are things that we have done in our lives that probably has not been pleasing at all. And the Bible reminds us that not we should not look at the past, but we start walking from now. And therefore, my message to you this morning is to restore, reward, and recompense. God whom we serve is able to restore your life, is able to reward you, and is also able to compensate those that you have lost in the past. I want to talk about this morning, about our experiences in this journey of faith once more. And we have seen the life of Joseph in the Bible. Joseph was forgotten, dumped away, and God restored him, and he was recompensed. When Joseph was sold out by his brothers, little did they, did they know that one day, the same same person whom they were throwing out as a slave elsewhere will come out and even to bless them. Our processes are painful in this journey as Christians. Our processes are also painful in, and very hard in the businesses that we are doing even in our jobs. Many a times we have shed tears. Many we have, at times we have worked under circumstances which are not pleasing at all. Many a times we have even been frustrated with our employers. Many a times we have been forced to do things that does not please God. But the Bible is reminding us today that God sees every drop of our tears and is able to restore every enemy that is fighting us. He is able to fight it for you. Therefore, do not give up. He is able to repair the broken pieces in your life that probably you did sometimes back unknowingly. And now that your eyes are opened, you are able to repent and come out 
the bad things that you are doing. Even in a foreign land, we are still able to be protected. For God to reward, to restore and recompense, we are reminded about the principles that we are supposed to do. That is to obey the Lord, obey his commands, and also to walk in faith by him. Uh, we have looked at so many families uh, and so many things uh, that we have actually done, the wrong things that we have done in our lives. Sometimes you have not been friendly because of one reason or the other. Sometimes you are not talking to your neighbor because of something small which you can still go down and apologize. The Lord is reminding you that he is still able to reward you. He's still able to recompel all that which you did in your life that did not please him. Looking at the new generation that we are bringing up, in this world we are living on, there is also spiritual warfare. Sometimes at home, you are struggling with issues that you do not know. You are struggling with a child. You are struggling with a spouse. You are struggling with jobs. You, are, you knock doors and doors and doors and you are not seeing job opportunity coming forth. There are spiritual things that need to be broken. They need to be repaired. At this day, this morning, God wants to use you as a servant of God to repair also the lives of other people who are not even your relatives, but are not even your friends, so that the, day, the way you carry yourself as a Christian will be able to make them also repair their lives. When you look at uh, how do we spend time with God, when you look at Galatians chapter 6, verse 8, he shows us, he, he, he shows that those who we will reap from destructions. So the God, God whom we serve is promising us that there are things that when you do that pleases him. If you turn from the wicked ways of life that you are living, he is going to use you. He is still going to use you and restore the lives of other people. There are so many people whose lives were restored. When Hannah was barren and was struggling with the childlessness, the Lord, he kept on going to the altar every day to pray. And he prayed and prayed. She prayed and prayed and prayed. And God was able to restore and give him what he got a reward. She was rewarded and she had a son. Sarah, at the age of childlessness, of barrenness, he was, he felt like, she felt like she was not going to have a child anymore. But God, because he was persistent in her, pr her prayers, the Lord whom we serve looked at her, answered her prayers, and she was given a son. Wherever you are this morning, brothers and sisters, I want to ask you to reconsider your stance. Go back onto your knees. Everywhere you are, pray and ask God to bring restoration in your life, to restore your faith as a believer. Maybe you had believed, you, you accepted Christ as your savior, you decided to backslide, God is still giving you a room for restoration. Come back to him. He's still able to repair your broken past and bring you back to life. Maybe you have never thought of being a believer. Instead, you are talking ill about servants of God. Look at the great conversion that took place in the life of Saul. On his way to Damascus, God restored his life. God brought him back to him. God used him. And instead of beating and killing believers, he was able to start walking afresh and preach the gospel of the good news of our Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm reminding you today that the Lord we serve is able to restore, he's able to reward, and is able also to repair the broken pieces of your lives. You are done sins in the past. 
He only needs you to believe, to repent, accept him, and start walking afresh. I want to thank you this morning that as you go out to work, may it be in your heart. May you find peace in your heart. May you find it in your heart that you are able to go back, look back, and repent from the sins that you commit so that you start walking afresh. He is the Lord whom we serve is able to repair your past. He's able to reward you for the hard work that you are doing. Many a times when you go to the places of work, sometimes we get promotions. Lord is answering our prayers because you have been praying for that. It is not for granted that you are just given freely. The Lord wants you to follow his principles and to pray, to be obedient, to love, such that when he answers your prayers, you will be in a position also to pray for others. And when you pray for others, you will also make a change in their lives. You will be repairing the lives of other believers. May the Lord be with you today. May the Lord take care of you. May you love him. May, we walk, may you walk with him. May you call his name all the time. May you develop a wonderful relationship with him. And may you live to testify that for sure he's able to reward is able to restore and is able to recompense all that we need. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the brief message that we have this morning. It is powerful, Lord, and we commit it at your hands that may your word be felt all over. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs> Sim